guys and welcome back to the nurse snug if you are new to my channel I'm just gonna give you a quick background about me I am a registered nurse I have been a nurse for almost a year and a half now I have one year experience in general adult ER nursing I have recently switched to pediatric ER slash trauma nursing um, I'm about two and a half months in so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what my life has been like as a pediatric nurse um, so if you're not already subscribed definitely click the subscribe button below to be updated and get tips and videos and all about nursing pediatric nursing and just nursing in general okay so let's just jump right into this video so I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, very open throughout this video and sharing my experience thus far as a pediatric nurse. So my initial introduction to pediatric nursing was very scary. I'm going to be so honest with you guys. Coming from adult nursing, there's a lot of things in adult nursing that nurses can kind of not i wouldn't say get away with but are allowed to do and it's just like accepted in the general like adult nursing world that would not fly in nur in pediatric nursing especially in a trauma center so i am at a level one trauma center so level one trauma center is the highest that you can get this is like the nfl of trauma nursing like it, this is the nfl of trauma nursing in a level one trauma center all the worst things that you can possibly think of either end up at a trauma center get dropped off at a trauma center or fly out to a trauma center because we have all the resources so at first this was super overwhelming to me i'm like a trauma like i was so excited at first to start in a trauma center i'm like yeah trauma center like i'm gonna be doing all the things like i'm gonna be seeing all the things i'm super excited but then when i actually started working there i did love it i'm not gonna say i did it but it was so scary guys because with kids everything is different your treatment is different your medications are different your dosing is different everything is so different so i really felt like a new grad all over again so for someone that's starting off in pediatrics it's gonna be pretty much the same thing as i'm feeling right now even though i have er experience and i have nursing experience um, i don't have experience specifically with pediatrics so i did see a few pediatric patients in my er previously because er's generally aren't like oh we only see adults nothing else if somebody comes into an er with a kid we are seeing that patient we're not going to be like oh there's a children's hospital right down the street no we have to see that patient no matter what it is we can always transfer it out or whatever it is that they do but we always have to see the patient so i did see um, pediatric patients at my e er however a very slim amount of pediatric patients so not enough to get like a good history with them and I get a good like feel on how to work with them uh, a lot of times it was something very basic very general that um could be in and out or stabilize and go out so only working with pediatric kids especially when i started getting critical patients i was like please help me somebody please i don't know what to do so it was difficult for me because i at my old job especially for the first um before the first year i was very scared of doing everything and i switched in a very critical time in my career they usually say like you don't really get into your group of nursing until after the first year of working as a nurse so as soon as i pretty much hit my year mark i knew that before even getting into my job i knew that i didn't want to do adults forever i knew that i just wanted to get experience there and then transfer to my passion which was always pediatrics but i wanted to get like a general experience um just so i could have that under my belt so as soon as i hit that year mark is when i started to apply to jobs so around a year is when i started to kind of get comfortable with working with adults and that is when i switched to a whole different specialty so just when i felt like i knew what was going on boom i threw myself right into a new position which is good and bad it's good because i'm that means i'm constantly challenging myself and i'm never staying comfortable i'm always like 
learning something new, not learning how to do something different than what I'm used to. But it's bad in the fact that I feel like a new grad all over again. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I first started, I felt very, very dumb. And like, I knew nothing because I even, I remember texting my friends <laughs> when I first started, I'm like, everybody here is so smart. Like, I'm just gonna quit now. Literally everybody at my facility was like so super intelligent. Not that everybody at my old facility wasn't, but like I'm at a teaching hospital. So we have residents, we have fellows, we have attendings. We have so many people in our facility that are there to learn. So um, there's constantly information being thrown around and people are constantly teaching. And at my old facility, we didn't, it was not a teaching facility. So we didn't have that. Um, <clears throat> so I, it was like listening to all this information being thrown around me and I'm like oh my god like I don't know what they're talking about like I don't know about any of this stuff and I felt very dumb because I feel like I've been a nurse for a year now I should know a lot of this stuff but I still feel scared and like I don't know what I'm doing it even like it blew my mind because um, when I first started orientation, like of course for the first day or so, like you just observe, you see how the flow of things go, you learn the systems at this new hospital, and then you start doing stuff with your preceptor. So I remember when my preceptor asked me to start an IV for the first time, I'm like, are you sure? Like I have started hundreds of IVs and adults, but I have been on orientation for such amount of time, and now is my time to actually start an IV on a kid, and I was so nervous, I'm like, are you sure like and I'm like Lexi are you kidding me like you've done this so many times like why the heck are you nervous and it was a bigger kid too it wasn't like an infant or anything but I'm like are you sure like am I ready just like that that my confidence had totally gone out the window like my confidence was non-existent at this point. And that is totally normal. So I knew that was normal, but I know like a lot of people, I get a lot of questions, a lot of DMs, a lot of messages um, when people are like, I'm so nervous. Like, I don't think nursing is for me. I'm thinking about quitting. Like, I'm so scared to do anything. Guys, this is so normal. Please do not quit before you give your gut, before you give yourself a few months at least like six at least at the very least six months to really get into the group of things because at first it's always going to be scary you're not going to know what the heck you're doing everything is brand new all these processes are brand new you're learning all these new things you're going to feel like you don't know what you're doing that doesn't mean you should quit because something is hard that means you just need to go in overdrive and spend your free time learning about it get books get resources get badge buddies, get everything you can to learn about this new thing that you're doing. When something is hard, that doesn't mean give up, like hit the give up button, no, that means you need to go super hard, that's what that means. Like nursing is not for the weak. And that means that it's gonna take some time to really learn it and, and get familiar with it and become good at nursing. You're not just gonna like pop out the womb of nursing school and be like, oh, I am a, a plus nurse if anybody needs a resource like here I am like no you're gonna be like I don't know what I'm doing like and if people are like oh I if people do come out of nurse school like oh I know everything like I'm the perfect resource like run away from them please you do not want them to be your nurse because nobody should feel like they know everything okay you should constantly be learning and always open to criticism suggestions all of that and that's another thing with nursing is being open to criticism like nursing is not one of those careers that you can have this huge ego because you're it's it's not gonna work okay this is people's lives you're dealing with and you need to be open to criticism if somebody is giving you um constructive criticism that is like oh hey like this this is a better way to do this or this is how this is done okay you there you should always have an open mind to learn something to help your patient because at the end of the day you are dedicated to your patient and you want your patient to have the best outcomes possible so you need to be absorbing everything you can to put into practice to make you a better nurse so all of that aside <laughs> how it is to be a pediatric nurse um let's do like a quick like moment of silence like a little drum room i don't even know if i have the drum roll sound on my editing software but whatever we're gonna do like a <clears throat> i seriously love 
pediatric nursing. I did not realize how much I did not like my last job until I started a job that I actually love. And now I'm like, this is the shiznits. Like I love pediatric nursing. There is no amount of money that you could pay me to go back to adult nursing. They could offer me seven figures to do adult nursing and I'd be like, mm, no, thank you. Because at the end of the day, and I see this a lot in nursing where people, or even just any career, where people choose a career because of the monetary gain and they are miserable. And even though they're making all this money and living in nice places, they are not genuinely happy. So I rather be genuinely happy doing what I love despite how much money I make, um, rather than something that is just gonna pay the bills, you feel me? But one, I'm making a lot more money than I was before because I have I have switched states. I moved to a different state to be um, to become an ER pediatric nurse. If you guys have not seen my last my video about um, quitting my last job and moving, I will link that down below. But I moved to a different state specifically for this job. I'm making a lot more money than I was on my last job. I'm so much happier than I was on my last job. So honestly, like everything is just like a win-win. I just truly love the pediatric population. Even though it's a totally different world that I'm used to with adult nursing, I love it. Even though it's challenging, I'm stressed out a lot because I'm learning so many new things at once, I would not trade this experience for the world. And like I said before, this is a trauma center. We do get a lot of critical patients. Um, to be completely honest, when I was like, oh, I'm going to a pediatric center, like, it's not gonna be like as crazy as adults, like they're not gonna be as sick. Boy, was I wrong, because I am in one of the biggest cities in America. I am in a pediatric trauma center, like all the things get sent to us. So we get really, really sick kids. And I really was not prepared for that at first. Like, I honestly thought we, most of the things we were gonna get are the sniffles, the cough, but we really do get a lot of sick kids and we see a lot of things that I have never even heard of before, which I'm very interested in. Like, I'm so glad that I get to learn about all of these things. And every day, I literally have this, I don't, I don't know where it is right now, but, I have this little um, booklet that I have where I literally write down um, everything that I learned throughout the day or new, um, like what supplies I need for what things, like rates and calculations and um, disease processes and procedures and policies. I have like this little book every time I learn something new I write it down and I'm literally like always filling that thing up because there is always something new to learn with kids. And there's so many things that can happen with them. And I really like working with pediatrics because I just feel like they're so innocent and it, I feel so much more passion taking care of them because like what happens to them is not their fault. Like with adults, like a lot of, um, not I wouldn't say a lot, but some of the um, disease processes that happen to them are a result of their lifestyle. For example, like smoking, unhealthy eating habits, those turn into certain disease processes that could have been avoided with good health practices. And with kids, it's like, it's not their fault. Things just happen to them. And it can be sad, but it's like, they're so innocent and they just, you know, they just wanna play and feel good. So I am so passionate about like helping them feel better because they just wanna be a kid. And I just wanna help them like recover to become their best self and live out a full long life. And that's just how I know like this is something that I was meant to do. Like I was meant for pediatric nursing. And it's just, I don't, it just fulfills me. Like at the end of the day, I just feel like no matter how stressful the night was. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that I am also on night shift. <laughs> I have never done night shift before this job. So I'm two and a half months into night shift. And that's a whole nother video, which I will be doing probably my next video about night shift nursing. So I'll get into that. Definitely stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe for that next video. However, um, at the end of the day, like when I go home, I feel so fulfilled like after taking care of my patients like I just feel so good about myself and knowing that I helped kids feel better and I made a baby laugh I made a kid laugh I made them feel better I took care of their fever I you know fixed their dehydration or even just like whatever it is like I feel so fulfilled at the end of the day and I leave feeling like I made a difference in this world. That's why when people ask me, oh, if you weren't a nurse, what could you see yourself doing? Honestly, probably nothing because I 
I can't see myself doing anything other than nursing. I, I just, it's just for me, like I love it, I love it. It's stressful, it's hard, it's all of these things, like I don't have time for breaks, I don't have time for anything, but all that combined, like it's still worth it, like I still love it. It's like a relationship where you have troubles, have hardships, you go through this, you go through that, but at the end of the day, like, you still love that person. You're so in love with that person. Like, you can't see yourself with anyone else. That's what nursing is like for me. It's never perfect. It is never the perfect career. It doesn't have, it doesn't check off every single box ever. But I still love it. And there's nothing else I could see myself doing, especially with pediatrics. This is, like, my home. I will probably be here forever. I love it so much. And I really cannot see myself doing anything else rather than working with the kiddos. Again, like I said, I did adults for a little while, but I knew that's not what I wanted to do forever. And you have to find your niche. Like, I always say, when you first get out of nursing school, like, you don't have to jump right into what you want to do forever. Um, it's okay if you start on like a med search floor or any kind of whatever whatever you can get really you just need that experience and then you can always specialize because you have your entire life like you have at least like 20 years of nursing one usually people stay for like their first job at like around a year if it's something that they don't want to do one little year out of your nursing career is nothing you could always switch to something else something you're passionate about and a lot of times you don't find what you're passionate about until you move to different careers or are thrown into different kind of fields of nursing. So that is my update on my pediatric nursing life, guys. I will definitely be going more into depth on what it's like to be a pediatric nurse. And I'm so excited to make these videos for you guys. I know I have not made a nursing video in a while and I'm it feels so good to be back and be doing these videos for you guys. Leave some questions down below on if you have any questions about nursing or pediatric nursing and I will definitely try to make a video about it. Thank you guys so much for being so loyal to me throughout this process. I love y'all so much and definitely click the link down below to subscribe. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.